What's good YouTube? You're back on S Motorsports. It's been a minute, but I got another video for you. guys I got a product review for you today something a little different I've been working on some snowmobile stuff in between all the car things um, I picked up a few snowmobiles and sold two or trying to sell two and keeping one and uh, trying to fix the one that I got uh, I think there I got a, a clutch issue um, but I need to get this snap ring off and um, I basically had this type of snap ring pliers, which is basically a piece of junk. Um, if you've ever used these, it's not that great. With the interchangeable heads, it flexes so much and it's not very big. So this one does not work and the tips even broke off. I mean, junk, okay? So I figured it was time to get something a little nicer, get a set of snap ring pliers as I I'm always using it for different things like bearings and stuff or even like the snowmobile bogey wheels and stuff. So I wanted to take a minute, open this up, try it out, let you know my thoughts, just generally take a look at it. Basically where I picked this up is Harbor Freight. Um, they were having a sale um, on their like, uh, what do you call it, member thing. I basically had to sign up for a year membership, which was like 29 bucks um, and then I got like $25 off of this. And then I got another free set of uh, screwdrivers. So it ended up paying for itself in the first purchase. Um, and then you basically get access to other big discount items um, throughout the year. So I figured that was kind of worthwhile as a lot of the parts that I get, you know, even this, this hammer is from Harbor Freight. I mean, I don't know. It, it depends what you're using it for. Sometimes they got some really good stuff uh, being just like the home mechanic, uh, you know, most of the time the things last pretty a pretty long time. So let's get this unpackaged and take a look at what it looks like on the inside and we'll try it out and let you know my thoughts. All right, so what I got is an eight piece set of snap ring pliers. It was a Harbor Freight Icon brand. Like I said, I've never really had this brand before, but I'm gonna see kind of what the quality looks like and let you know my thoughts. Um, so first off, you know, I like that it came in a case because as you know, you kind of lose stuff pretty easily. Um, so the case is a nice selling point. Let's get this popped open. Actually, this is, look at that, Harbor Freight. I buy too many things from Harbor Freight. I think that was a free scissors one time. But uh, you know, like I said, depending on what you're gonna use it for, maybe it's not the best scissors, but you know, Let's see if it can get the job done, maybe, <laughs> maybe not. One eternity later. There we go. Wow, that was way too difficult. I'm a professional. So like I said, it comes in a nice case. We got a little nice thing here. And we got pliers. So I wanted to get a variety of sizes because depending on what size snap rings you have, um, you might need uh, a bigger one or the smaller size um, to get that to spread open uh, far enough. So, um, you know, generally you're probably only gonna use a couple of these, but it's nice to have when you need it. And, you know, one snap ring pliers I was looking at from Tractor Supply, it was like $17 versus I got the whole set for, you know, 54 bucks. So, I mean, I thought it was worthwhile to get the set. So what I'm probably gonna end up using is this one. Oh yeah, and see that's gonna spread wide open. That's gonna be good. You know, first impression, these seem pretty, you know, they got some, they seem pretty nice. Now the thing, the problem with this snap ring plier, these uh, tips are basically really small and when you're trying to open up the snap ring, they pop right out and just cheap, you know? So I'm hoping this works a little better. You know, these look like they're a little bit longer, the tips, and um, hopefully these last and don't break. What one do I need? Probably, we're just gonna go with the big one because that's probably gonna make it a little easier. All right, and I'm gonna put my safety glasses on because 
These look awesome and safety first. This thing is stuck, I believe. This is supposed to, once I get that popped off, this thing should shoot right up, but pretty sure it's not going to because it's stuck on and that's part of the problem. But we'll give it a try. So I think what I'm supposed to do is twist the sucker, which it's hard enough the way it is. If I shoot myself in the face, I'll get it on camera. Oh yeah, see this is, look at how nice that is. See that, that was just way easy. I was struggling way too much with that before. Now I let this go. Yeah, she's stuck. So we're gonna have to, uh, we're gonna have to beat it, I think. Whoa. She said you're just supposed to beat it. Okay, kids, don't try this at home. All right guys, so that clutch is being a little bugger and it's not coming off, so I'm gonna have to work on that. And you guys didn't maybe click on this video for that reason, but um, basically, I mean, I was just seeing, this was the size snap ring I was trying to get off. It was probably, probably like an inch and a half. Not super big, but this didn't even expand far enough to do that. Um, so what are my thoughts on this Icon set from Harbor Freight? I think it's gonna come in really handy because um, it has different sizes for the different size snap rings you need. This worked really good on this size snap ring um, with the, the bigger one. I think this is, what does it say, nine inch uh, pliers here and then these are, the rest are like seven. So you got two bigger ones, the rest are seven inch, which, you know, they come in various um, angles and stuff. So that will come in handy whenever I'm working on, with snap rings. Like I said, I always come across it for different bearings for you know snowmobile idler bearings or whatever i think this is a worthwhile buy um and i think it's going to come in pretty handy it seems like you know decent case and these seem like they're pretty heavy duty where they're gonna probably hold up fairly well so, you know for the price 50 bucks for a whole set that seems like a win to me. All right guys, that's it for today. I just wanted to do a quick video, let you know my thoughts on that. I think it was a pretty good pickup for like 50 bucks for a whole set uh, instead of like 20, you know, 20 some dollars for a single pliers. This, you have a lot more option with and sizes. So I'm out in the garage today, hopefully shooting some more content. Gonna be working on the Trans Am. Stay tuned if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, make sure to do so and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace.